Alright, what we have here is a 96 Ford F-250 7.3 power stroke turbo diesel and what's going on is when you're hitting the brakes and the brake light is coming on when you're holding the brakes down when you let go to accelerate the brake light goes off. What that is an example of is the power is the uh, the vacuum pump which is getting weak. It's not has not gone out but it is getting weak so we're going to go ahead and replace it. Another reason to replace a vacuum pump is if the bearing goes out. It still may be pumping fine, but if the bearing goes out, then at that point you're going to have problems too. Alright, so here is the vacuum pump right here. This is what we're going to be replacing. First thing you have to do is you have to take the serpentine belt off. You have your tensioner arm here with the 14 millimeter socket that we will be pulling to release the tension so we can be able to take and remove the serpentine belt out of the way while we remove this pump. All right, and before you remove the pump, the three bolts on the pump, you're gonna remove this air hose here as well. What you're gonna need for the job for the vacuum pump is you're gonna need a pulley puller kit. You can rent that from any of your AutoZone stores, auto stores, and take it back, or you can buy one yourself. You're gonna need a 14 millimeter for, to use the tension arm to get the serpentine belt, and you're gonna need um, a standard 10 millimeter wrench. I have a ratchet wrench too, so I'll just put it out there because that's what I'm going to use. It'll speed the process up. And then you can choose either one of these to remove the clamp for the uh, vacuum line, the hose. You're going to need to be able to remove the clip and be able to pull the hose off and gloves. Now we're going to take the serpentine belt off. Yeah, I have it on there, the 14 millimeter. You pull. And when you pull, you just take this belt and slide it off. Serpentine's belt loose. Now we're gonna go over to the vacuum pump. Remove the belt out of the way of the vacuum pump. And all you do is really just kind of set it off to the side. It's not gonna not gonna really be in the way. So now we got these three bolts to take off. One on top in a triangular form. Two over here off to the side. And then you got one on the back side over there that you have to get as well. And then there is a little clamp that's on this hose. You pull that clamp off, you slide the clamp over, and then you can pull this hose off. You have the uh, clamp here that's holding this vacuum hose on from the vacuum pump. You take your tool, you go in there, and you loosen it. And as you loosen it, you should be able to pull it right off. Yep. And then what you would do is when you slide this back on, you slide this down the tube. Sometimes you can put a little lube there to help it slide back into place whenever you pop it back on the new pump. And here's the port that it came off. And you can slide it. But what I'm going to do is we're going to take this off and I'm going to put a hose clamp on it because I'm a firm believer in hose clamps. That's it. We're going to go ahead and get the hose clamp ready, put a hose clamp on it, and get it ready for reattaching whenever you want, whenever we have the new vacuum pump on. All right, so we're just gonna get the hose clamp ready. Whenever we slide this one on the new, we'll use the hose clamp, and the hose clamp will put it on there and hold it in place. You can use the clip, reuse the clip if you want. I'm gonna swap over to a hose clamp, but there's nothing wrong with reusing these. All right, now we got three bolts we're gonna take off. Now that you have the hose off, so you get your 10 millimeter. I'm using my ratchet wrench. It makes life easier if you have them, use them. And then just sit there. Okay, so now that, that one's loose, we come to the next one, the upper one here. And you break this one. And then you got the one on the back side here on the bottom. Now this is the hardest one to get to. Alright. So that one's completely off. About to get the bottom one completely off. 
And keep in mind these bolts do not come off. They usually stay on by the wheel. The wheel usually keeps them on. The last one that's still on there is the top one. That one's going to be under tension. kind of jimmy this out and you officially have it off so you have your three bolts one two three those are the three bolts that are holding it on and as you hear it, you hear it doesn't how it sounds kind of weak and whenever we put the new one on we'll, we'll let you listen to the new one so the next thing we do is since we're going to use this reuse the same pulley since it's a ford pulley what we're going to wind up doing is we're going to use the pulley kit the pulley puller kit to pull this off and we'll put this same pulley back on the new <laughs> pump all right so you got the clamps the sleeve and then you got the pusher that's going to come out and then what you want to do is you want to push twist that until that goes all the way down to the bottom where it's flat and or even recessed in so now that once you're recessed in you know you're good to put it on there to do what you need to do then you pick up these two half ends. You'll see one is perfectly rounded and the other side just kind of has its oval. So when you put it together, you'll see a round side and you'll see an oval side. Oval side is out. You have the lip, those go over the lip. Once you have those over the lip, this goes in its place right there and then at that point you put the sleeve over it all right and then from there you tighten this until it locks into place because it's going to catch and lock see now it caught and locked and it's in place so now you officially have it on there and you're ready and all you have to do is you hold this still and then you just sit there and you crank this and you drive it off all right, so now you make this fit. I find it easier to use the ground as the holder. Just make sure it's nice and tight. Use the ground as the holder. Hold that in place. And then all you're gonna do is just sit here and you're gonna crank the pulley off. And you're gonna see it start to come off. Before I take it completely off, you can see here how it's starting to come off on the side and that's what we're going to do. I'm going to hold it the rest of the way and you, and you can see it coming off. See it sliding off and that's all you're doing is just pushing it off. There we go. You have officially used the pusher, which pushed through and pushed it off. That's a press fit. When it's a press fit, that means the tolerance match, or this could be just to be a little bit smaller, and it fits on that lead-in chamfer, and when you press it on, it forces it back on. And so now, you would take, since it's loose, you're good, you take the sleeve off, you pull both of these back out, and as you can see, you see how, how many, far it took you to push. This was flush to push it out. This one has two pull bolts and two pusher bolts that are gonna be do two different sizes because there's a, it's threaded on the inside and that's gonna be where you're going to screw it in to push it in. See, that one doesn't fit. So that one's not gonna work. So this looks like all the same size and it fits. So that's good. And now what you have here is you have basically just a, a pusher that allows you to push it on. Now that you have the pusher on the right size bolt, what's going to happen is you're going to take the pulley and the cavity side out. What you'll do is you'll put it back up on the new one, put it there, 
push that through, screw it in, and then you screw this down and it just pushes it back on, as we'll do whenever we get the new vacuum pump. All right, now that you have the pulley off, you take the pulley setup and you put it back in. And now you're gonna have to push it back on, on the new one. Here's the new one. You got your three bolts and you have your pulley, the original pulley. I sanded it and cleaned it a little bit, but I didn't repaint it. And make sure you put the bolts in first. The bolts have to go in before you put it on. So now that you have your bolts on, you put your pulley, you're gonna have the lettering out. Kinda just barely slides on to where it sticks enough to where it won't, won't fall out. All right, so you thread the bolt in, and then you screw it down and start pushing it on. So I typically, I'll just hold this, and you just screw it on until it stops. And you'll see that it's pushing it on as you do this. You feel it seat, it doesn't go anymore. You unscrew it. And you officially push the pulley all the way onto the shaft. You see how it's flush? That's what you want to do, is you want to make the shaft flush to the end of the pulley. Whenever you're ready to install, do not worry about the bolts falling out. The bolts are going to be held in place by the wheel, so no matter how you turn it, it'll be held, they'll be held in place. So really just get in there, get it lined up, and we'll tighten it up. It's going to go in like this, with the vacuum side out, and this facing forward towards the front of the truck. Alright, so now you turn it, get it in place. As soon as you get the first one on, semi-threaded, then you can go find the bottom ones. Now tighten the top one last. Next, you want to put your hose on. I'm swapping over to a hose clamp myself. I like hose clamps. And it's easier if you get a little lubrication and put a little lubrication, a little oil or something on this tube. Putting the hose on now. I put a little little lubrication. See the hose should slide on fairly easy. Alright. Now that you have her seated, put your clamp back on. Some of you have the old clamp. I'm swapping over to a hose clamp myself. This is the pattern when you put your belt back on. It usually has it. If you can't find it, look, up, look online, you'll find it. But there's an easier way to do it too. You have two different sides. You got your rib side, goes with the ribs, and smooth goes with smooth. It's that simple. Start off on the left side, and work your way to the other side. There, ribs are in place. It's on the smooth sides with the vacuum pump. You put the rib side over here. And now whenever I pull this, we're going to force this to go under there. It's tight. And that's how you change a vacuum pump.